Hi hey everyone, welcome to High Plane Games. My name's Simon. Today we're taking a quick look slash review at Ultimate Chicken Horse. Uh, available on Steam and it's only been out a few days. It is a multiplayer only game. So it's worthwhile pointing that one out off the bat. Uh, there doesn't look like there's going to be any single player. And uh, you do have the option of couch, co-op, there's online mode, but it is very much in beta and it's very buggy. Uh, the developer's asking for help, essentially, <laughs> for testing. So uh, go test if this game does tickle your fancy. Uh, but what you can do, if I'm just going to start game now, is share a controller, or obviously a keyboard as well, and that is grand. So the idea of Ultimate Chicken Horse, and let's actually just be the chicken. I'm just going to die it onto... I don't have any friends with me for this specific review, so it's, I, it's going to be very much a demonstration of what's available as opposed to what's actually uh, there or not. Um, is I love the sounds in this game. It's so silly. Uh, let's go for the farm. So, at the beginning of each map, and there are several maps that I've yet to unlock, uh, and characters as well actually is you start off in for see in the start zone and you need to make your way to the end goal uh, very very simple however you need to build your platform in order to get there uh, and you'll take it in turns in the uh, creative mode that I'm currently on in the moment so we'll pop that there and then I think we'll put a little bit of stairs there and that's all looking very simple so we'll take it in turns making our way over and get into the flag so chicken's all happy, but so's horse, sadly. And the problem is, is that if everyone gets to the goal, then no one wins. It was too easy for everyone. So, not only do you have an inventory of things that you can use as platforms, you also have an inventory of hazards and traps. <laughs> so, if I wanted to be a little bit of a bitch, I'll pop that. I'll pop that there actually, so that the arrow will fire that way, and then I think I'll be just as bad by popping that there. So horse has to now negotiate the arrows, oh, and then jumped and got sucked into there. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> double kill. <laughs> so obviously if no one gets to the goal, there's still no winners. Issues. And so begins the chicken and egg laying traps to stop your opponents getting across. But also trying to still get across yourself, <laughs> which is sometimes just as much of an issue. So what I'm going to do... I know, yeah, let's go for that. Let's do... Mm. Mm. Alright, let's stop the arrow by doing that. So there we go, so chicken gets across. But if horse doesn't, chicken gets a point. And because it was chicken's trap that he laid, he also gets bonus points as well in this specific mode. So, horse is angry. Horse is very angry. It's going to make it even more annoying. Oh, good going horse. But if chicken gets it wrong, oh. Horse catches up. It wasn't his trap that killed chicken. Chicken died in his own trap. And so the game progresses on. And you've got this 
beautiful way of working in the uh, where's the honey so I could pop some honey there that was a bad thing to stick honey on actually There we go, and a honey essentially starts gluing things together. I think I may have bucket myself. Yeah, yeah. Oh no, I can wall climb up. Great. Oh, I didn't actually mean for that to happen at all. Chicken wins again. Uh, but what I can do, if say this is a moving object, what I can then do is stick honey on one of the sides. Oh, sorry horse. <laughs> Chicken wins again. Horse is now an underdog, which means you get underdog points essentially. Uh, but what I can now do Is stick that there and that's now glued onto it. And so that will rotate round, I believe. Oh, chicken! Chicken, no! Horse gets it and he gets comeback points. So, on the default run of this, a coin essentially is bonus points. Let's put in the hockey puck man. Let's put him there. Doesn't doesn't need anything to like lay on. Uh, what else can we do? No. Water on chicken. Uh, so each uh, default thing is 12 rounds. So if you don't get to five points total within 12 rounds, um, you go into sudden death essentially if everyone's on like even points and so on and so forth. Kentucky Fried! Oh, yes! That was pure fluke and a half. I must say, actually, the controls feel very stable. Oh, no! Minutely floaty in occasion, but the jump is quite uh, reactive, which is really, really key to a game like this. So at the end, you are Ultimate Chicken! <laughs> And so you continue on. Um, there's several levels which you have to unlock essentially by playing uh, the previous ones and then finding little boxes with balloons that seem to unlock randomly. Um, there doesn't. I've no, I've yet to work out the rhyme and reason as to why I got the old mansion uh, box to appear that I then had to climb up and capture essentially. 
the rules themselves, if I just dive down to that. Uh, so you've got creative mode, which is what we were just playing. You've got party mode as well, which is where uh, a box of tricks appears and you have to select from whatever is randomly given to you from the selection of tools that we were just playing with. Uh, you can adjust the points to win the round from time to rounds and bonus points you can turn on or off essentially. Uh, very, very simple. That is literally all of your inventory. Um, and what I will say is, and there's the graphics uh, and other options if people get uh, want to know, and that is also uh, the controls, and they're not bindable. That's worthwhile pointing out as well. Um, if I have a down point for this game, it's actually the inventory itself. The inventory doesn't. I, I like the glue effect. But you're losing a time to, uh, you're losing a, a turn to make the glue, and so whilst you've got spinny things and steps and blocks of sizes that you can sit and play and try and glue together to create your own little mini traps of joy. Actually, the inventory itself is quite sparse. Um, I don't see, or I've not yet come across, and I've only literally been on this game for an hour. Um, any way of unlocking any more inventory and I don't know if there's more inventory planned or coming in the future but if there was anything that I wanted to increase or be improved in this game it would absolutely be that um, I can so see this being a great game to play multiplayer on the couch more than online so I'm really really pleased that you've got shared controller couch as well as just plugging in and play it's great fun um, I was Basically, to, to test this out with a mate, I was playing with it on screen share over uh, uh, Skype. Good giggle. Good giggle. And it, it's frustrating because we was all like angrily. Um, and what he was doing is telling me where to play stuff and then I was just trying to have a go to get over. So it was just... But even that was fun. Uh, so great concept. Beef the inventory and you've got both the thumbs up from me, to be fair. Um, this is Ultimate Chicken Horse, available on Steam right now. You guys will take care. I hope that was informative. Please do like, subscribe and comment should you feel the need to do so. Um, I also have a patron running as well. Uh, links in the description. You guys take care. See you soon.